but letting that bastard Hugh Edwards walk free, who's actually, yeah. you know, been found with pictures of seven-year-old children being sexually abused yeah. on his phone. This is where we've got to, because yeah. he's okay. He's okay, yeah. so he can walk free. Yeah. She, because she's written that, is potentially going to murder some some Muslims at some point in the future. This little old lady from Cheshire. That's they they may tell you that, but the reason they've done those two things there is first of all, Hugh Edwards is not a threat to the government. Yeah, he's not. When they're never going to let him babysit, but he's not a threat to them. That fifty-three-year-old woman is a threat. Yeah. Because she's she's already proven she's quite willing to be vocal online. Yeah. She never should have said what she said, yeah. and that needs dealing with and punishing. We can't, we cannot condone and we cannot promote violence against anybody. So what she said was wrong. Needed arrested. Needed dealing with. But I not, don't think I don't think she needed arrested. I think I, she, I think somebody should have gone round and said, "Listen, <clears throat> love. Sorry about the love thing, yeah. but you know I'm from Yorkshire originally. Listen, love." You shouldn't have done that. Please don't do that again. Or we're going to have to arrest you then. Uh, that's what should have happened. Maybe, but either way, she needed dealing with. It yeah, which is which is dealing with her. It my never view. should have been consideration of her ever being in a court and ever getting anywhere near a jail. Talk about a wasted jail space. Yeah. And but she's a threat. Yeah. And she was used as an example to everybody else in the country. If we we're willing to do this to her on a Facebook post, what are we willing to do to you? So yeah. you better behave. Yeah. It was a threat. So what's the message with you, Hugh Edwards then? Hugh Edwards is, well, do you know what? He's a lovely man, isn't he? And we all, we all love <laughs> Hugh Edwards. And he's the face of the BBC and we love the he BBC. He was the face of the BBC. He made a little mistake. And he's made some mistakes. He didn't touch anybody. Um, and do you know what? Is it really his fault if his mind are attracted? Is it really his fault? Do we want to persecute him? He didn't do anything. He only watched videos that were already made. He's probably he's probably a bit of a victim himself, you know, because he's got he's carrying this cross of being mind of attracted. And people have said some awful things about him now. We can't send him to jail. That would be mean. It was it was almost like seeing a, the cabinet meeting there. I can imagine that yeah. was discussed. I can imagine there was a conversation like that yeah. that took place somewhere either in the government, the BBC, the 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 Department of the, the CPS. Yeah. Maybe that's yeah. what happened. And if I wanted to be cynical, I'd also say they say between themselves, right? We'll let him off easy, and then make it known to every news presenter across the country that. If you don't play ball, we're going to come down hard on you when we find out what you've done. But if we find out what you've done and you've played ball... Oh, so he's played ball, has he? Well, I'm not saying he's played ball, but other people will be saying to them, All right. be nice with us, and when yeah. you mess up, yeah. we'll let it slide, just like we did with Hugh Edwards. Yeah. But also, Hugh Edwards is one of us, isn't he? I don't mean one of us. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. he's one of our lot. One of the elite, the elite. establishment. He's one of our yeah. lot. He's a nice guy. He's not yeah. like that grotty woman in Cheshire yeah. who posted that, who's like one of the deplorables. Yeah. He's one of us, isn't he? So yeah. we can't really... He really doesn't deserve to go to jail, does he? And there's, it wouldn't surprise me that the people, the kids who were abused, that their parents were right wing. Oh, yes, of course. So does it matter yes, if you abuse yeah. the children of yeah. right wing people? Yeah. Because they need punishing. Yeah. They're not so, real victims, are mm. they? Yeah. Because, of course, him looking at pornographic pictures of small children, there's no victims there. There's no victims. He's, you know, he's an innocent in that sense because there's no... But, of mm. course, there are bloody victims, aren't there, you bastards? Those, 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 vi those videos would never have been made if people wouldn't pay to correct. watch them. Exactly. There's a yeah. direct link. Yeah. It's like people who go, oh, I take a bit of cocaine, it's harmless. It's not harmless. And you might think it's harmless, but have you seen the slaughters in Mexico over mm. the cocaine trade God, yeah, yeah. and in Colombia. So you might not think you're involved, but the money you've paid for that funds that violence. There wouldn't be violence if you weren't buying it. So you are killing those children in Mexico and Colombia yes. and Honduras. Correct. This is down to you. So everything has consequences. Yeah, yeah. But I think genuinely that's what they're thinking, the elite. He's not hurt anybody. He's a nice guy. He's one of he was one of us for a long time. I mean, they were even that that asked John Sopel and 
Emily Maitlis mm-hmm. were defending him, weren't mm-hmm. they, when it first happened? Not the, the paedophilia bit, but the first bit about showing his bum to some young bloke. Yeah. I mean, they were, def- they were defending him. A lot of people couldn't believe it could ever be true. Mm. And that's because of them a met a paedophile. Yeah, yeah. You don't know what a paedophile looks like. Yes. Nobody does, because no. they don't look a certain way. You have no idea who's a child yeah. molester. It's not the old man in the park with a dirty Mac. That's a caricature. We have no idea who a paedophile is. I remember in one of our businesses, uh, the cops turned up one day, and there was a guy who worked in the joinery shop. Mm. Nice guy, really friendly, everybody mm. liked him. Took him away. He'd been abusing his children. Yeah. yeah. He, he, but he was a perfectly normal guy, as, the, as they are. Yeah. Did you enjoy that video? I think he did. Come on now, hit that bell, subscribe, comment. Let's build this channel. I need more followers. I need more subscribers. Be part of the journey. See you soon.